Hi everybody, today I wanted to share with you a two-week grocery haul that I honestly just picked up from Aldi and a few things from Walmart. And I'm going to share with you my array of food I have for our family of three for two weeks. And um, I don't have any meat out here because we have a freezer full of meat. I did buy a whole chicken, but that's in the freezer already too. And some other things I'll mention later. Um, but this is basically what we'll have for two weeks plus some bulk buying because I do like to buy things that are on sale for future and do that for bulk. So I'm just going to start with what I got. I have a lot of produce as you see and fresher foods um, and then some canned items as well, just things we like to have on hand and restock with. So I'm not going to tell you prices of everything because that would take too long. But just in the produce section, I bought five bags of spinach because we use those in our eggs every morning with cooking and so I just made sure to pick those up. I bought a bag of romaine, then I have some celery and another spinach. Now I did go to Walmart and get a five pound bag of carrots because we eat carrots a lot and so um, I made sure to buy plenty of those to have and then I bought several cucumbers three or four of them and then one thing I really stocked up on this week because they were on sale at Aldi they were only 49 cents I bought about 12 or 13 avocados because we eat probably almost an avocado a day so that'll get us through about the two weeks that we have here and then a bag of white onions and then a bag of some apples because we love our apples and some sweet potatoes and I usually buy more but they were so small so we'll just have to kind of deal with what we have and we'll have other carbs like rice or um, regular potatoes that I already still have or even some pasta sometimes so I bought a bag of about five or six sweet potatoes grapes I bought because my daughter loves those and they were on sale a spaghetti squash I will use this for like a pasta next week I bought as you can see a horde of bananas I love buying lots of bananas because when they turn I freeze them and use them for our smoothies that we have on Sunday nights or I make banana bread or banana cookies and uh, it's just such an easy thing to have on hand and at Aldi they're super cheap and then uh, I also really stocked up on these baby bella mushrooms i bought five of these because we use mushrooms every morning in our eggs as well and they were only 89 cents i think right now so that's so cheap and i'll just saute them up and then freeze them so i can just pull them out of the freezer and it'll be good for this week we're having a beef stroganoff um and so i want to use mushrooms in that as well okay some of my other fresh foods here um up there i have like some a bag of peppers because we eat peppers every morning and then I also like to throw them into like uh, chilies or other things like that that I'll be making throughout the week. Then I bought a thing of garlic and broccoli was on sale so I brought, bought some broccoli as well. I think that is pretty much all my fresh produce and um, then I brought some frozen strawberries and mango chunks. We do smoothies like I said every Sunday night and if there is fresh produce on sale, I'll usually buy a lot of that and freeze it. So that's like what our bananas would be for a while ago. They had blueberries really on sale, so I bought them fresh and froze those. But I do still have some other frozen, or frozen fruit in the freezer, but I just wanted these for the next few weeks. And that will last us actually longer than two weeks. Okay, and then um, for dairy, I did buy a gallon of milk. I always buy a gallon of milk when I go to Aldi, and then I freeze it, honestly. So we have one in the fridge right now, and then I froze this other one because it really doesn't go bad if you thaw it correctly. And then I bought three whole milk yogurts because we love yogurts. We use it for our sour cream. I use it in my baking. My daughter has it every day for a snack. I'll eat it for a snack. So I bought three of those, and then two cottage cheeses and then okay here's some canned things I'm gonna jump to now um, these pasta sauces were in the sale aisle so I normally wouldn't buy a lot of pasta sauces 
but they were like a dollar thirty and the ingredients are very pure and clean and so I liked that as well so I bought three of these type of simply Regano pasta sauces um, and then we just needed some ketchup some spicy mustard so I bought those another thing I stocked up on is their salsa from Aldi it was like 40 cents cheaper than normal so I bought four of these because we eat salsa every day on our eggs too and then if we have chips and salsa for a snack or um, every Tuesday is our Mexican night so we always have salsa with that so I stocked up on those um, and then I did at Walmart. That's the one thing with Aldi. They don't always have things I am looking for. Like these diced cream chilies. I bought these from Walmart. Three of those because they go really well in like a white chicken chili that I will be making. Or in one of my Mexican dishes I'll be making here the next week. And then I needed some enchilada sauce for a dish I'm making tonight. So I bought that. And then, oh I do have cilantro. I missed that. That's fresh. I love this pineapple salsa from Aldi as well. It's so good. And I bought some um, bag of dried black beans. I drop buy all dried beans typically because it's, and I just cook them in my Instant Pot because it's so much cheaper and it's super quick in your Instant Pot. And then some other canned things. My daughter loves beets. I do have pickled home canned beets, but these are just a really quick snack for her. And it's really nothing in here beets water and salt and so what a healthy snack to have and then just a thing of little pickles that's probably for when we have a gathering coming up here um okay and then i needed some more flax seed got that and this was just a random buy for my snack on the way home because we live about 50 miles from our nearest aldi um i bought this dark chocolate and sea salt granola so good ingredients are pretty clean too for the most part okay and then let's see oh more for dairy i should say i bought a couple of cheeses in the blocks because i just shared them myself and then i bought some dark chocolate chips and we love these dark chocolates i always eat the 85 percent then my husband likes like the dark chili and the 70 percent but I bought three of those because they are, if I wanted chocolate, this is much healthier to have 85% than some chocolate chips or something like that. Um, and then I needed some more of their coffee. I usually buy whole bean, but our coffee grinder just went out. So I bought some of their dark roast coffee from Aldi. And then I have a thing of bacon and some tilapia. I've been craving some fish here and I want more fish in my diet being pregnant. I don't typically always just buy fish, but I thought that would be good to have. And then I always buy some tortilla chips when we go. And then with bread, I usually, my husband eats bread every morning, like toast with our eggs. And so I buy one of these every time or two and stick them in the freezer as well. So we do have one in the freezer and then a fresh one here. And that's just really nice to have on hand for him. And I also uh, do sourdough bread as well. So that I bought. And then we like to have these Belle VA waters. Um, my husband likes to have one of these a day since he doesn't drink pop at all. These are just kind of a nice alternative because there's no sugar, there's no anything really in it just a carbonated water and we already had one box down in our basement and so i thought i'd buy this one um let's see what else oh i did get these pizzas were on sale i bought two of their supreme pizzas when we do friday nights we either do sourdough pizza that i make or these aldi frozen pizzas and so i bought two of those because they were actually a dollar cheaper than normal and then something that I found with Valentine's Day coming up, um, Nevaeh's friends, her little buddies, I thought this would be fun to give these little um, organic fruit punch drinks to them. They were on sale as well. So I bought two packs of these to share for Valentine's Day gifts for them. I typically wouldn't buy like a drink, a fruit drink for her. I don't ever give her any fruit drinks. So this is just something I thought would be fun to give as a gift exchange. And then, like I said, I did have a whole chicken that I put in the freezer and most of our other meat we already have. We buy a quarter of a cow. We have deer that my husband shot two years ago. So we have meat there um, and just some other things that we already did have. Peanut butter is another one. I did get that from Walmart 
I buy the Smucker's All Natural Peanut Butter. So I have several of those on hand because we love our peanut butter in this house. So I made sure I had those. Oh, missing this. I bought five dozen eggs um, because we go through eggs, like I said, four or five a day. And then if I'm baking and other things, it's really nice to have lots of eggs. And when they're less than a dollar, you can't go wrong. And then I always, in the winter, have to get a fresh bouquet of flowers. So I bought those from Aldi as well. Some fresh produce I didn't get from Aldi, I also got from our local store. They had cabbages on sale, so I bought a couple of those. And some berries that were on sale as well, fresh berries. So I did buy some of those and then a couple zucchini as well that I've um, going to be using in a recipe as well. So cabbage will either be used just as a side or make some sauerkraut or something like that. But I do buy locally as well from our smaller local store when they have good deals on their produce too. So this is basically what will get us through for the two weeks. Um, produce kind of gets slim pickings if I don't buy enough. So that's why I made sure to stock up for this. Um, and everything was under $175 for all of this and some of those meats and with that peanut butter. So really it's a pretty affordable way to shop and I have meal ideas already planned out for this week and then I'll use some for next week. And I already have some canned things on hand. So if you want to see like a pantry tour, I'd be happy to do that. I know you enjoyed some of my what we eat in a week meals as well. So. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It's definitely something I haven't done in a really long time, but I thought it'd be fun to just share with you what I get kind of on a two week basis. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. I will talk with you in my video next week. Love you guys, bye.